hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel rebel free in today's video i am going to explain you about types of wires and cables in the subject of basic electrical engineering uh, before this we have seen some topics like mcb mccb elcb and all uh, which is a part of unit 5 electrical installations and i am going to i mean i am going according to jntu h syllabus of r18 okay so if your syllabus is not according to that or if you are having some different syllabus let me know in the comment section i'll try to do according to that so first let us see what is a wire and what are the types of wires we have and then cable and what are the different types of cables we have okay simple wire is nothing but it is a single conductor stand or or sorry single conductor strand or group of strands simple like you will have a single conductor in that you will have a single strand or group of strands the concept is you will have only one conductor in case of cables you will have more than one conductor okay so first let us uh, see what are the different types of uh, wires then let us go to cables key. wires we have so many types but in that we are going to mainly discuss about four types in this video okay mainly we have four types among those many types first is a single strand single strand in the sense you will have a wire inside that wire you will have only one copper wire like usually when we observe in electrical wires what will be there inside the wire you will have so many copper or steel or aluminium silver strands you'll have right so inside that wire you will have only one strand only one thin wire of copper you have that is called that they are called as a single strand wires okay next is the multi strand in multi strand inside a single wire you'll have many strands many copper wires will be uh, folded together they will be twisted together and they'll be kept inside a wire right that is a multi strand okay next is acsr acsr is nothing but aluminium conductor steel reinforced simple in acsr you will have outer layer as aluminium and the inner layer as steel okay which means see the wire will be in this way so the outer layer is aluminium wire inside you will have the uh, steel coating so aluminium why since aluminium is a good conductor it is having low weight and low cost that is why we are using aluminium in the outer layer and inner layer we are using steel why in order to improve the strength of the conductor okay aluminium conductor steel reinforced aluminium conductor and inside we are having steel okay so outer layer is aluminium inner layer is steel and it is mainly used in overhead power lines so the diagram may not be very good to see but uh, just for your understanding i have drawn this okay inner layer will be steel outer layer will be aluminium next aaac means all aluminium alloy conductor that is here in the outer layer we have aluminium and in the inner layer we have steel but here we will have aluminium only both in outer and also in the inner layer that is the all aluminium alloy conductor that is we will have the aluminium alloy okay and aluminium alloy is made up of aluminium magnesium and silicon alloy means what combination of more than one metal right so many elements um, metals will be combined together to make an alloy so aluminium alloy the alloy which we are using here will have aluminium magnesium and silicon okay next it is better than it has better performance when compared to the above one acsr so in the above one simple logic outer aluminium inner steel but here both outer and inner we are having a uh, material which is made up of aluminium alloy and that alloy has elements like aluminium magnesium and silicon okay got it so this is about the wires now let us discuss about cables cables also easy concept simple concept only so cables means more group of two or more conductors in wires we have only one conductor right here group of two or more conductors two or more insulated wires wrapped in one jacket insulated wires are nothing but um, around the wire you will be providing some insulation with rubber or with metal or with lead or with any coating you will be providing okay so tables uh, cables also we have so many types in that we are going to discuss seven types in this video first 
VIR cable. VIR is vulcanized Indian rubber. Okay, vulcanized Indian rubber. So, what do you mean by vulcanized rubber? See, rubber is extracted from a plant, right? So, the rubber which you extract from the plant is not hard. And if you can observe the rubber which you use for rubber bands and which you use for eraser and the rubber which you use for tires of vehicles is completely different the rubber bands has more elasticity eraser also bends but car tire will it bend no right so how rubber is made hard by the vulcanization process vulcanization of rubber that is we will be adding sulfur to the rubber to make it hard so how much amount sulfur you add that much hard it will become okay so that vulcanized rubber will be used first you'll have the copper conductor this is the copper conductor that is the wire strand copper wire copper strand and that will have a rubber coating around that copper wire you will have rubber coating and around that coating you will have bitumen wax coating why bitumen wax coating we have to use is bitumen wax coating why we have to use is in order to protect the rubber from moisture right so if if moisture is there then obviously corrosion pro problem will be there in order to avoid that we are using bitumen wax and how much thickness of the rubber will depend on the voltage simple next trs cable trs means not telangana party <laughs> tough rubber sheet simple you will have the conductor conductor is nothing but the copper wire metal okay next you will have the inner insulation around that and around that you will have the tough rubber okay this tough rubber will give you protection against wear and tear and also it is weather resistant even though if it is the if it is heat or rainy or whatever it is it is a weather resistant thing okay got it next we have the third one is the lead sheeted cable see there is nothing more i have to tell you about this you, all you can do is you can just take a screenshot if you want okay so vir and tr is done now let's go with lead sheeted cables lead sheeted cables simple so you will have the conductors and you will have the vir so these conductors are coated with vulcanized indian rubber okay and all these together are coated with, coated with a lead sheet okay this lead sheet will protect from the moisture again and from mechanical injury so in case of vir cable around this vir we are providing bitumen wax coating right instead of that we are providing lead sheet here this lead sheet also will provide protection against moisture and also from mechanical injury to the cable Next, okay the fourth type we have is pvc cables polyvinyl chloride pvc means okay i hope you already know this you have learned this in chemistry sorry my camera suddenly got rotated okay so polyvinyl chloride simple here you will have copper conductors copper strands they will be coated with pvc nothing required more than that because pvc is harder than rubber so it will provide protection against uh, rain I, I mean protection against moisture water heat everything so no additional protection is required because pvc is very strong okay next comes the xlpe cable which is nothing but the cross linked polyethylene insulated cross means x linked polyethylene so simple here also you will have the conductor conductor is coated with xlpe around xlpe you will have a metallic screen which is non magnetic and around that you will have the pvc coating that is xlpe cables okay they are also very strong because they have multiple layers of coating conductor xlpe non -met non magnetic metallic screen and pvc right next sixth type is a waterproof cable so waterproof cable basically you you will be using a pvc or vir insulated conductors that is you will have a conductor okay and around that conductor you will have metal uh, material like it it can be of pvc or vir vulcanized indian rubber and around this you will have a insulation of some weatherproof material it could be anything based on the weather based on the uh, climatic conditions of that area you will be using any weatherproof material okay conductor surrounded by pvc and around the pvc you will have some weatherproof material okay so that is about the waterproof cables next comes the multi strand cables so in multi strand cable you'll have multiple strands coming from a single coating this coating could be of anything 
and these strands should be in fixed numbers like 3 7 19 37 61 91 like fixed numbers they have to be why in order to obtain circular shape suppose you have you have 3 so circular shape is obtained right suppose if you have 7 like this 1 6 7 and if you are having 19 then around this you will be like uh, your goal is to get a circular shape so in order to maintain that circular shape we need to follow any of the fixed numbers okay got it so this is about this video guys i hope uh, you got to know about the different types of wires and cables in this video if you're getting in the exam also you can write all these things and diagrams also you can draw there is nothing more i have to explain in this uh, this is more of a theory kind of video you may say like whatever you have written you read out that there is nothing else to do apart from that okay so that's all thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video and if you're having any video recommendations let me know in the comment section